After Engineering Explained made his video on hydrogen, many has given up on the technology, but I haven't and neither should you. Remember, this is a new technology, which means we can and will still find ways to improve upon where we are now. When EVs was first introduced, they were heavy and they couldn't go very far on a charge. Now EVs are really good, they can go decently far on a charge, you get big and small EVs and they make tons of power, although they are still really heavy. As much as skeptics insist that the internal combustion engine is dead, big companies from all over the world are hard at work researching and further developing this technology. And here is my question to you. If this technology is so stupid, why would multi-billion dollar companies waste their time and money developing this idea? Remember all of these companies are in it for the money, so if they feel like it would be a massive failure, they wouldn't even waste their time. Now China, despite being one of the world's largest producers for electric vehicles, is actively exploring alternate energy technologies for automobiles to meet its sustainability goals, including hydrogen internal combustion engines for commercial and passenger vehicles. With multiple companies working on furthering the technology, and I'll show you a few of these companies and their engines. One of China's oldest manufacturers is collaborating with experts from Beijing's Institute of Technology to develop a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine. FAW developed the first domestic heavy-duty commercial vehicle with a direct injection hydrogen internal combustion engine. This engine itself is a 13-liter heavy-duty engine that produces over 500 horsepower. And they aren't stopping at commercial vehicles. FAW also thinks that the hydrogen internal combustion engine can be used in passenger vehicles. You see, they are hard at work developing a 2 litre inline 4 internal combustion engine that will also be powered by hydrogen, which is intended for use in passenger vehicles. Now, this engine is no slouch either, producing 200 horsepower and 280 Nm of torque. This engine will have a thermal efficiency of around 55% and it will feature a turbocharger. Now this engine offers dual fuel injection of hydrogen and ammonia, which can be flexibly converted into hydrogen and other zero carbon fuel products. In other words, good for the planet and good for the car community. As soon as more is released on this engine, I'll make another video. But that's not the only company. GAC is also busy testing a hydrogen internal combustion engine that has a high thermal efficiency of 44% and in their hydrogen engine they are using a newly developed combustion chamber which improves the mixing process of hydrogen and air. They also made improvements to the hydrogen supply system which improves the power density and reduces the risk of a leakage. Now there are many more companies but I feel like I made my point. Billions are being invested in this technology by people much, much, much smarter than me and if they think that it could be a viable option worth pursuing, so do I. Remember Toyota has done extensive testing in multiple vehicles over thousands of kilometers and after all that testing they still look at the technology as a viable option. What does that tell you? If the cars were awful, slow and had crap range, they would throw in the towel and the tech would just die out, like many other technologies. Before I end off, I do not believe that the hydrogen internal combustion engine is the solution to everything, but I do believe that they will coexist with fuel cell EVs and EVs alike. I feel like your normal practical vehicles would be best as a fuel cell electric vehicle or a fully electric vehicle. They are more efficient and more practical, but sports cars and commercial vehicles are the two places where hydrogen internal combustion engines are better. Commercial vehicles work hard and long, which means they need heavy duty engines, which can be refilled quickly. And there are already conversion kits that can change your diesel engine to run on a hydrogen diesel mix with up to 90% hydrogen in the mix. I made a complete video on this, so if you want to look further into it, I'll link it here. It's about the dual fuel technology of diesel and hydrogen. It's a thing already, many companies are working on it and some countries are already using it in their government funded trucks and stuff. Yeah. And then for sports cars, we petrol heads love ourselves, a car that sounds great, that vibrates and that we can range on on the weekends. I would sacrifice a little range and even speed to keep my car sounding like this. <laughs>
and to keep my love for working on the cars alive. Not everybody will understand this, but those that do know exactly what I'm talking about. Now I hope at the end of this video I do bring some clarity on why I believe in this technology so much. Yes, there are challenges with hydrogen, storage being one of the biggest, but with multiple breakthroughs coming on seemingly a monthly basis, this technology becomes more and more possible. If you don't know which breakthroughs I'm talking about, go through my channel, I have many videos on hydrogen and as the technology advances I make more and more videos on it. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you want me to check out on anything car related, hydrogen related and even like new technologies surrounding cars, let me know about it down below so I can go through it, see if it's something I can make a video on and if I can, I'll release the video as soon as possible. Yeah, so if you liked this video, leave a like, subscribe and I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.